hypnotic leadership, how to influence, how to motivate, and ultimately how to change the behaviors of your team. No matter the tool or technology that you pick up at a driving sales executive summit, you still have to bring that technology back to your dealership and implement it in order for you to get a maximum ROI. It is the human factor of implementation that often causes us to miss out on the unique competitive advantage we were hoping to gain because our people tend to be a little under-motivated, under-initiated, or simply procrastinate getting it off the ground. In my presentation, there will be three primary takeaways that you as a leader can use to help you with any initiative or any strategy at your store. The first principle is that of the psychology of addiction. You see, we normally think of addiction in simply negative terms, but that's not necessary at all. After all, addiction is simply that irresistible behavior of patterns that we find ourselves in that we keep going back to over and over again. Now, in some cases, it's negative, but it doesn't have to be. Imagine having a team of people who are addicted to the right behaviors and ultimately addicted to success. Principle number two is the psychology of limiting beliefs. Have you ever known somebody at your store who's just that far from a goal when they tend to do something almost self-sabotage in order to cause them to unwind all of the progress they've made? What I want to do is share with you how to recognize and how to break those patterns so you and your team can go to the next level. The third principle is the psychology of volunteerism or activism. It's that thing that compels people to go above and beyond, even outside of their normal work hours, for a cause, for a mission, or for something that they value. Imagine having a team of people who are committed to your mission, committed to your values, and go above and beyond for both you and your customer. I look forward to seeing you at the Driving Sales Executive Summit in 2014.